I'm Dr. Ben Newman. I study coronaviruses. That's my job. Let's answer your questions. Next question comes from Crystal. Good morning, Crystal. Uh, let's see. Hi, Dr. Ben. Thanks again for taking the time to respond to our questions. Hey, no problem. Yeah, we had a little hiatus there. Um, um, uh, I'm, this is my hopefully last day uh, in quarantine from an exposure. I think I'm okay. I've taken the test waiting for the results. So there you go. Um, let's see. Question is, which is why we can do it from the porch, which is so much nicer. <laughs> I'm a den leader for my son's Cub Scout group, um, and not only has our city decided to hold a Veterans Day parade, oh my gosh, in the midst of a surge of positive COVID tests, our pack has decided to enter a float. Yeah, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> for the young kids out there, uh, that's a Pepe hand. See, <laughs> for the older people, what the heck? <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. So, so, <laughs> so, yeah, that's a, all right, that's a big old uh, stack of bad ideas with uh, meatballs and extra cheese on top. All right, so let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, so in the midst of a surge of positive COVID tests. All right. Um, we typically put the boys uh, grades kindergarten through fifth grade on flatbed trailers. Uh, the parade will obviously be outside. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably somewhere where they're parading through malls because I don't know what malls are for anymore. But yeah, that's a separate thing, <laughs> um, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, because there's some good stuff in the mall. Um, the parade will obviously be outside. Let's see. Does being outside negate um, uh, some of the risk of being on a trailer for over an hour? Is there any way to do this safely? I'd appreciate any uh, guidance that science can offer. Yeah, all right. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we uh, uh, we fell at the first two hurdles of not holding the parade and not entering ourselves into the parade by the look of it. <laughs> so uh, time to dust ourselves off and uh, see if we can manage to outwit that third hurdle. Um, yeah, if you're talking safe ways to do things, um, so I would say you want to have the kids in masks and whatever you can do like a mask theme on there you put a little poster like ooh safety yay which i don't know people may <laughs> instead of you know, like you throwing candy to them they may throw things at you but i i would hope not because it's cub scouts and people like cub scouts but that's that's a chance to send out a good message i guess and so you want to make sure that all the kids are uh, there now i, I don't know yeah, <laughs> I'm not suggesting you rubber cement uh, the mask, you know, around the edges of their face, but I think there's going to be certainly some risk involved in this. Um, what you can do is, uh, before the kids go out there, you can give them a little lesson. It doesn't have to be a merit badge. Uh, yeah, in uh, mask folding. And so they're going to take their regular old masks, whatever kind uh, they have. I'm assuming it's going to be uh, little cheap ones like this, which are actually really good. And you want to put a bend in it, and then you want to put two other bends right there. And you want to make it roughly the size of your nose, and you'll know if you get a good fit. Uh, yeah, it'll just it'll feel right, and you can feel it after. Then you're going to put it on, and then you're going to have them test it. And so sort of blow up and see if you can inflate the mask, which means at least to some extent the air is getting trapped here and is having to go through the mask rather than just go around it. If you had a really bad seal at the top, I think you wouldn't get as much movement uh, from the mask. Of course, there are different types. Some have a little bar here to keep this away from your mouth, which is super comfy, and then that uh, particular thing would not uh, exactly work. But yeah, you just have a nice feel. Make sure that you've got mask touching skin all the way around. And um, yeah, with that... <sighs> I think that's what well, you you may be the safest float in that <laughs> very bad idea of a parade yeah <laughs> um and i guess i i guess that's the, the best we can do in this situation that's uh i don't know yeah kind of the d minus that just passes yeah <laughs> but uh probably shouldn't have so i like that you're trying to stay safe uh at least to some extent and um uh, if you are maybe not in charge of the entire group, I mean, you talk to people, see if you can get whoever is running the uh, pack on board. Um, and um, yeah, if not, at least make sure your kid or kids are definitely wearing the masks like before and after because all those kids close together before the float, on the float, 
yeah, even outside, there is some risk there. And, you know, yeah, this the parade's not supposed to be about bad things happening after the parade. Parades are not, you know, things that we use to generate repercussions normally. And we just want to make sure that that doesn't happen here, because there is a very real risk, I would say. So, all right. Good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say masks off to you, but masks on to you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. This is Ask Dr. Ben.